Alright guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kern Scott and in this video, I'll teach you guys all you need to know about playing all the tracks in Audacity, right? Now let's start by playing a track first, right? We do this in two ways. First, by pressing the play button and second by hitting the space bar. Now the play button is this guy right here, this nice green button and you could also see there's a little information box that also tells you that if you press the space bar it will also play so it's it's a shortcut for the play button right so let's press that play button all right and now let's press the space bar all right so there you have it guys playing tracks in audacity is real simple you could either hit that nice green button or you could hit your space bar right now let's look at stopping a track and also pause in a track right now to the right of the play button there is the stop button right now as you can see there is no real there is no shortcut or key command for this button so we'll just have to press that stop button but guys if you do press the space bar it will also stop now all so also so although they did not um put that information there you could also use the space bar to stop it that's two way right and then to the left of our play button we have our pause button now as you can see the little information box informs us that there's a shortcut which is the p key so let's look at these two and play And immediately it stopped the track and it went back to where the play had begun right now let's look at pause in a track right we can pause a track all right so we know the difference here due to the fact that the play had remained right where it was playing right and we can continue with playing the track by hitting the pause button again And that's how we stop and play tracks right now by default what happens is the playhead for audacity starts at the beginning of a track any track that you load it would begin at the beginning of a track not no not always would we want the track to start at the beginning we may want the track to start at let's say 15 seconds into the track that's where we may want to hear now we can do this by going to a tool called the selection tool right and that is this tool right here it looks like a capital i and its shortcut is f1 right so now what we can do is change the position of the playhead where it starts and as you can see we get this line here this is the playhead and this is where this track is going to start right and we can do this throughout the track So the track may be playing, but we may want to restart that particular point because, you know, we, we may be writing some sort of song or something. So we will want to go back to that point continuously until we have gotten what we are trying to accomplish done. Now we can do this by either hitting the space bar twice for it to restart at the beginning or we can hit the play button. Let's look at this. <laughs> Right, that's with the the play button and now we'll do it with the space bar now guys remember we have to double click because the space bar also acts as a stop shortcut Now guys, there 
may also be situations when we are playing our audio we may, we may just want a particular section to play right we may not want the whole track we they just want a little a little section of it to be played right so what we need to do is create a selection of play area right so we do this with the selection tool again because we are selecting our area and we would hold down our left mouse key and drag till we reach that particular point where we would want only that section alone to play and not for the player to go beyond that point right so as we are still holding we can drag up and then drag down basically to how much we want to play right so we're only going to select this little short area here and right after it finishes it's going to stop <laughs> right now we also have a loop feature we may want this section just to continuously loop right and how we would accomplish this now if you watch this this little information is given us also a loop play so we can do shift spacebar and it will just loop this performance <laughs> Alright guys, now if at any point we want to hear more because that's definitely not enough information for whatever we are trying to do, what we can do is increase this, right? We can increase the space, but the way to increase the space is by waiting for this little finger icon to pop up, right? Now sometimes depending on the project, it could definitely take some while before this finger icon pop up first to add to the loop or take away from the selected region right so what we could do is just come in holding down the shift and it's going to automatically appear to give us our loop all right and there you have it guys all you need to know about playing audio in audacity right hit that subscribe button hit that like button remember we have tons of new videos coming out so hit that notification bell button and guys support our channel and thank you for watching